Wednesday, the 11th of uh, November in the year 2020. Welcome to the special interview on your channel of choice, Movie TV, with me, Kelvin Dabula Chifokol. Now, we have always said movie television is just a platform to share ideas, amplify the achievements of people, consolidate the country's democratic dispensation, and provide an equitable airtime and space to all citizens despite color, creed, language, or political affiliation. Thus, we hope and understand that you benefit and appreciate our presence in your minds. We are back tonight after Tuesday's explosive special program that featured controversial patriotic front member who also calls himself National Commander Innocent Kalimashi, in which he made an array of uh, allegations against some leaders in the party. However, the main highlight was when he dropped a bombshell that Minister of Home, Minister of Home Affairs, brother Stephen Campiongo, is awarding contracts to some disgruntled cadres to undermine the role of uh, Kelvin Sampa as National Youth a Chairperson of the Patriotic Front. And one of the beneficiaries used uh, in these clandestine activities is Maxwell Chongu, who was massively benefited from Honorable Stephen Campiongo. Max Ochongo is my guest tonight on the special program. Max, good evening and welcome to the special <coughs> interview. Good evening and uh, good evening to our viewers. In case you missed uh, last evening interview, and I would like to, to remind you or to refresh your minds, if you missed and uh, you are just uh, wondering to say what is it that Innocent Kalimashi said uh, uh, concerning uh, Max Ochongo and uh, the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs, Stephen Campiongo. This is what Innocent Kalimashi had to say. Mm. Mm. So na inisha pose kwa manu kwa ustaweshi yufu barekita na hapa afika na politics ya ndi. Inene wunia uishi yuko na afu mufuku. Ufuku wawa na mapange wako atapadi wa PF. Machanda po kwa wati meeting yo wa mitri baka mpiongo. Walisa tuma Max. Mkwa. And machanda kwa wati Max ya panomba wali mpela na ma contract. Yes. Ayama contracts, ewa pira max. Ya kushita distabilize party, no kufaita ba sampa, na angubali mpira pantu, ama kampana hali dembisha wino, ilo kuti abomba. If you teti mzingi lepo, na ishita ba hali mpira la mwashari kupati ukunfwa, pa kupira ama contract, na ine ba hali njibili. Umuna niti paishi epte fitu isi, hambo kula tukana nishu na ifu chama. So nga mwachi muna, ukutukana. Are you booked? Can Mulandu have fin to fibam later? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just to add on what you said. Hmm. Ah, na ina nada boma ningi because already a power can but ino shed kalimanchi anyo zaintungurushi. Hmm. The people were appointed by the president. By the president. But Max, when he was insulting Kelvin Sam, no one came out to say that he. Uh, wa Kelvin Sampa ni presidential appointee mzuo wa Pasaule. Now, does it... So, we don't know exactly what is happening. Venango, we are more respected. Venango, kulibe. Mwana. So, it's not double. So, we are respected. We are not respected. We are not respected. But, in our country, we are not respected. So, what it is... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll take you back. We are not a district chief chairman. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know. I'm not Go, mkatenge ma video. Yo konse kwa niwa inda wa district. Mama mm. kamba chepali ino na ine. Awe, e watu watu now. Kwa sila, ajie men meeting. For us. Pari pe time yo ita na wa ntukti ba wa walangize vo vota, vo tenga ma enya rasi, vo tenga ma vota zikati. Vo walangiza kutat ivi. Ndefa mwini finga pele kitu yu chipani pa sokoro. Pari pe time. Wana time yo kamba pari hii pari isi. Isi na isi. Kwa nga na kusogo, kusogoro. Kwa sila vision. Tufuna chani, tufuna uh, president waka pita pa chani pa 2021. Kwa tuna vision. So isi, tunavara matu kuli wajaba ntuvo tutu kwana. Wajaba ntuvo funo tukwe sa pansi. Tunavara matu. If we, our focus is... Mwini ngati, wainu ngati, munavara matu. Wakampiongo wana kamba mwayanga. 
Nishimna segura mato. Apo mwakamba bunai. Mm. Ya. Kuri kuyanga munti na kupita. Wayanga. So marisa asuka? No kupita. Bate batisi kwenye tabo wa asuka no kupita. Na alia asuka no kupita. Kwa hiyo fakti. Anka kuda. Wa district waja. Mwena kambira u. Ati. Ma video ya oyose. Mukaite. Mukaya oni. Wama kamba chepali ife wa vidi. So if what we did. Tinaita migrate. Tinachoka mpolitiki sija yao. Tinaita extend focus ya 2021. Because. Bevu wanga na hapa. Mungo nae. Mwaka mba ti. Wazape mpakuli wa SG. Suma mene. Yes. Ndiyo wana kamba ti. He. He. Kuti pangila ni meeting. Ina wakateka tiwa uze. Ya. Iyo meeting mwa mene hili. Diyo pangila na wa SG. Niyo faka wa ntupamozi. Maka faka wa ntupamozi. Babu watu fighting kwa ni tuli. Tuli hili. Mwayona. Babu wa menye isi kwa ni tuli hili. Wambu ipa anga. Three weeks ago hai. Tuzaka indio wame. Uwa menye. Tuna hindi la kuda. Tuna hindi la kudara. Njia mene manja wafu na ati. Watengi kuli wa SG wa wateto la leti. Wabu menye isi. Zee ni tisanka na munga pa yufite. Wazatu peza. Na hivyo suzatawa. Kwa zi tamene tuchi ita na hivyo. Tuchi ziba nishazo. Nishazo. Na hivyo nga tisa baka wala na mturi guilty. Tunga tabi. Mani nga sturi guilty. Tuzaka tabi. Wazaka tu peza. Wa ino. Wa sampa. Mibo mbele yao. Wanduwa kambatia iba samba. Pamena wa sankira kuti wankare wa youth. Wa national youth chairperson. Mwankara confusion mupati. Mm. Waka ingi wa kusenza na ma youth si wonse. U youth hafichi travaki. U youth hafichi travaki. Imo kubo na chewa bosi wa samba. Kasenza do kao. Nifazi wana wa kamba ntutu waka ingi wa kusenza na wanduwa ita confusion. Yeah, so, so, eh, eh, ulo, ulo, imo munga waka mbuta tao. U indien tungulushi. Hare bomba wini. Example. Example ilipo pari ini. Ore di wanabu ni gula. Nanga wajia wina nguwa mini watu kwaani. Siku tiba nama gula. So basa mpewe kasa nzedekao na mayuti. Karibuwa nji kulinga na imu mweka. Mbari ya mbabu ino na ngu. Pantu ufu nilinga landa na imu wapopo mwili mwili pena zambi. Kupenda makuwa basa mpakuli pesa. Kwa mwili muna pui mwati basa. Na mistakes ni ya. Ni ya ni pesa. Na imu chumwa tu chita advice ni pesa. Let them come out. Anteo zato. Mwana kwa kama tupasa mpani kwa kama tupasa na violence. Wafunda kukino mchipani. Nika nika kambia vaino. Nati mwana mchipani. Mwana mchipani. Mwana mchipani. Mwana mchipani. Nati wakangi wa. Walita kukishwa mchipani. Wakangi wa nukamba na mayuti. Daso pesi kati ino. Wena grupu yake. Wena grupu yake. Vonsi buka chifuka chava samba. Wari wiki. Nika wakamba wanda. Nika ino mba. Nyewe kishu mungu. Mwana mwana ini politics. Kwa li wawa joini na. Achula kata kwa iti nchito. Elwa joini politics. Ara wa interest baishi. Kwa hadi wa wesa mkulo de shaka. Afu mapane bapa kwa mboni. Wale tuwa rumu wana kusukuru kwa hivyo muna katulaika. Esa alore shoku kuwasha. Tusopo tununu. Mundule ya washa ni wale washa. No. E government ili kwa ya chita hova. Abandu. Tawale homba. So. Lekin tu tuji, tu rendre quoi avant. Cause amour a problème il est pas mal avant. Tu rendre quoi avant. Moi mon, t'as vu l'eau au conchi, on dira mal à valoir le commandant. Moi mon. So ava fula, ava fula, but. So that is the interview we had last evening with Innocent Kalimashi and Nathan Piru, who are my guests and. Uh, this evening, I'm joined with Maxo Chongo. Maxo, take us through the revelations uh, that uh, were made by uh, Innocent Kalimashi that you've been paid, you've been awarded contracts, and uh, the aim is to destabilize the party <coughs> by insulting or undermining the leadership of uh, the National Youth Chairperson, Honorable Kelvin Samba. <laughs> when I was um, listening to to this program. Actually, I did not know that they were the guests yesterday until someone called me to say, tune in to movie TV and see what's happening. And upon my first glance, I want to tell you that to me, I thought it was another version of Kasaka, you know, because to me that was pure comedy. You know, I have not been paid or given contracts by Honorable Stephen Campiongo to undermine K1 
Kelvin Sam. Honorable Stephen Kampiongo was the National Youth Chairman. And when everyone was quiet, the youth wing of our party is the biggest engine, biggest political engine. Because the strength, the political strength of the Patriotic Front Party lies in the youth. It's a grassroots party. I was the first one to say, look, in as much as our leader, Honorable Stephen Campion, is good at what he's doing, I think he has got too many responsibilities under his hands. And it's high time we look for someone who is going to dedicate his time fully to the affairs of our youths. Meaning already I was among the first people to register my concerns. To say maybe because at that time, Honorable Stephen Campion had um, national chairman, national party uh, chairman in terms of security. He is a member of central committee, the biggest organ in our party. Uh, Shuangandu member of parliament, you know, and then he had the, 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 of course he still has it, Ministry of Home Affairs, plus that, so it was quite too much. And when that happened, when Honorable Stephen Campiongo was removed from there, they gave it to Honorable Kelvin Sam. And at first glance, I was the first one to say, no, 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 no. It has gone in wrong hands. And at the time I was saying that, Innocent Kalimanji was in UPND. Maybe Nathan Piri was in PF, but Innocent Kalimanji was in UPND. Therefore, I don't see it to make sense when someone says Honorable Stephen Campion was paid max, he has given him contracts to undermine Kelvin Samba so that the national chairmanship position should be given back to Honorable Stephen Campion. From the time the Patriotic Front Party won in 2016, I've only been to Honorable Stephen Kampiongo's office twice. And one of them should be uh, the time that Honorable Kampiongo called you to say you should go and pick Innocent Kalimansha. Honorable to him Stephen together. Kampiongo never called me to go and pick Was there a meeting where you picked Innocent Kalimansha and you went to the Honorable? There was no meeting at all. If you call that a meeting, I am the one. When Innocent, let me tell you how this whole thing started. Tell us. <laughs> when Innocent Kalimansha came back to... PF from UPND. Yes, we welcomed him, we embraced him. But my brother did not do one thing. And that one thing that he did not do was to apologize to the people he insulted in the party, the people he called names, the people he called thieves, starting from our current provincial secretary, Comrade Kenneth Kamba. The IG himself, Waganganja. The Home Affairs himself, Honorable uh, um, um, Stephen, Campion. Stephen Campion, Kaiser Zulu, all these people, including the president, he called him names, the videos are there. He insulted the president not once, not twice, but on several occasions, whilst in South Africa. You all know that video that went viral where he was saying, Iwe Kanganja, 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 Iwe Kada. Is Mr. Kanganja a Kada? No, Mr. Kanganja is a professional man. A man with integrity in the society. You know, a man who has not shown crookedness in any of his dealings. But for him to reduce a family man like that to that level, that was wrong. So when Innocent came to PF, there was a group that went to welcome him at the airport. And among us, that group, I was not there. After two weeks down the line, the group that went to welcome Innocent, Karimanj from the airport, decided to go on the ground. Innocent was by himself. Innocent is a friend of mine. Innocent Kutari Dwarf Mananka. Even the times we were carrying Iria Kofi in Iria, Yawa Wintakabimba, that time, I was next to Innocent Kalimanj. We walked from Avon Guest House to Freedom Search. I'm the one who was even carrying his phones. He's like a brother to me. So when I saw that he was left all by himself, he was alone, I said, My brother, I did not attend your welcoming party or reception because. You have not done what you're supposed to. And he asked me to say, I said, you have not apologized to anyone you offended. Then he asked me, how do we do it? Innocent only mentioned Wagambiong. Let me tell you how it started. We were at Locals Pub in Charleston having our God meet. Innocent came. And I called Kaiser Zulu. At that time, Kaiser Zulu was a political uh, advisor to the president. 
And I said, Mr. Zulu, this man insulted you. But he's here to apologize. Kaiser Zulu refused at first. Then I said, boss, Tuliva Kuluva, Tuliva Naven, let's give him a second chance. And Kaiser Zulu told me to say, bring that innocent Karimash to Chicago. We went to Chicago where Kaiser Zulu bought us drinks and food. And for the first time, I've never seen innocent Karimanj drinking beer or anything of that sort. Kaiser Zulu got his glass of whiskey and said, to show you that I've forgiven you, you will drink with me in this glass. Even Sava was there the one. And innocent drank from the glass. And that's how Kaiser Zulu said, I've forgiven you. We are one family. Let's work for the president. Kaiser Zulu left. I told innocent Karimanj, you never apologize to the inspector general of police for all those things you called him. The Home Affairs Minister, for all these things you called him, and the President. But let's take it one step at a time. Then he said, Max, you're the only one who can help me. I said, how do I help you? He said, please talk to Honorable Stephen Kampiong. I called Honorable Stephen Kampiong. When I mentioned the name Innocent Karimanj, Honorable Stephen Kampiong, cut my phone. I called Honorable Stephen Kampiong for the second time. When I mentioned the name Innocent Karimanj, he told me, are you sure, Max, what you're talking about? He again said, I'll call you back. Then I called him for the third time. And these were the exact words from Honorable Stephen Kampiongo's mouth. And he said, I don't want to have anything to do with that idiot. Because he insulted my IG, he insulted myself, and he insulted the president. And my words to Honorable Stephen Kampiongo were that, look, boss, even in the Bible, there was the issue of the prodigal son. Let's give him the benefit of a doubt. Maybe he's a changed man. Looking at the fact that the person he went with uh, by GBM is back and is quiet. Then Wagambiongo said, okay, I will have agreed to meet you. Let's hear what he has to say. When Innocent Kalimanshi came, he found me at Long Acres. And then I crossed over to the other side. He came there with his entourage. And I told him, we are not seeing the minister with your entourage. We are seeing the minister with yourself. It's you who wronged the minister. And we drove and met Honorable Stephen Kampiong at Christmas Hotel in the car park. He did not come out of the car. He refused. And when we went by the window, I said, boss, let's forgive him. He erred, but maybe he's a changed person. He insulted the IG. He insulted yourself. He insulted the president. I've taken him to Kaiser Zulu. Kaiser Zulu has forgiven him. You are human, boss. We are a Christian nation. And forgiveness is one of those things that we need to practice. And Honorable Stephen Kampiongo said, okay, thank you. You Max, you have talked sense. What, what you're saying is wisdom. Innocent Kalimanshi, I have forgiven you, a brother. Feel free and participate in party activities. When Mr. Kampiong wanted to start his car, I said, boss, you can't leave this man like this. This man has just come. This guy was working on my station. Again, That's how come Mr. Kampiongo removed the money that he, innocent Karimanshi yesterday disrespected by calling it fuel money, which was quite a lot of money. And I said, personally, to say, Boy, keep that money, maybe it might help you. And that's how we left. The next thing, innocent started calling me himself. Max, then Drago Priva Kampiongo. She folks who pan an and they I said, what do you want to do? He said, I'll explain to you when you make an appointment for me. I called Honorable Stephen Kampiongo. I troubled him. And he agreed. He said, okay, fine, let me see you guys. So we went to Prism again. That was around 17, 18, 19. When Innocent Kalimanshi came, he came with um, some guy. He's, running, he's a PF member. He's running a boxing club. And there were about three more guys. Innocent Kalmanshi sat like this with, with his entourage, and I was here. And Honorable Stephen Kampiong was there. He said, yes, Innocent, what is it that you want? Max told me, you don't want to be in stations. You want to do something else. That's how come Innocent brought an issue of uh, Fia Manganizi, Fia um, Scrap Metal. So it was Innocent who started the It program. was Innocent. It wasn't the minister who it said... It wasn't the minister. The minister, Honorable Stephen Kampiong, never, had any, never wanted to have anything to do with Innocent. So, Innocent said it himself. I want you to listen to this. Mm. This is where it's becoming interesting. Mm. Because when he talks like that, he thought maybe he can lie to the country just like that. 
innocent, explained to the minister about manganese, he explained about scrap metal, and the minister said, okay, look, I'm happy that you don't want to cause confusion with your friends. You want to do something different this time around. But that field, I don't understand it perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I'll call a member of parliament who has got an idea in what you're telling me. And Honorable Stephen Gambiongo picked his phone and called Honorable Pavuma, who's a member of parliament, Pavuma Karoba. Karo. Mm. Honorable Pavuma Karoba came to Chrisma in less than 20 minutes. And Innocent explained to Pavuma. And that's how Honorable Stephen Campiongo handed over Innocent to Honorable Pavuma. And we parted our ways. From that time, a thing, Innocent has never sat with Honorable Stephen Campiongo, not even myself. So it was shocking to see that uh, he was practically sent by Honorable Kelvin Samba to come and tarnish. Do you have Union. evidence that he was, uh, was sent by Honorable uh, Kelvin Samba? It was just two days ago when he was saying, no, I'm a child, 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 i am a child 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 i there is some confusion and disunity amongst our youths in the party. But the best thing you can do is don't take sides. Try to reconcile them and unite them so that we work as a team. We work as one. I told Honorable Stephen, Honorable Kelvin Samba to say, after that, let's go for a national youth symposium where we'll bring our youths in one place. And then they give us their problems. We come up with a document which we must present to the president. Instead, when that confusion started, Honorable Kelvin Samba went and picked Innocent Kalimanch and said, first of all, before he picked Innocent Kalimanch, he picked a guy from the Copper Belt. And the guy, when he realized that there's confusion, he stepped aside. Then he picked another guy from the SAC to run the security wing. The security wing is not under Honorable Kelvin Samba. The security matters are under Honorable Stephen Kambio. But he went ahead to go and pick the group of Innocent. When Innocent came, Innocent is not fighting to prove loyalty to the president or the party. To me, he has just proved that he's fighting for intercity. He still has that at his heart to go back in inter intercity. And when Kelvin, Honorable Kelvin Samba picked him, that was the beginning of problems. Because now Innocent and his group, then when you look at Nathan Peary, Nathan Peary was on the province structure, provincial structure. And when he was dropped, they just merged with Innocent. And when you look at the background of the two, you can tell that there's a problem here. And for a leader, for a leader like Honorable Kelvin Samba, to embrace them and continue supporting them when we can see that there's confusion and division and not bringing everyone together to find a common goal, then I would... Do we have uh, divisions and uh, confusion in the patriotic front? With such characters that you brought here yesterday, of course. They refuse. They said they are no in fighting. It's only people who are let's, lazy like yourself who don't want to mobilize for the party. You want to tarnish their image. Let me tell you something. Mobilizing the party is not about going to the people that you work with, bus station, Upunda, Navena, Mabas, at your mobilizing the party. Those people, their loyalty is not to the party or the president. Those people, their loyalty is to the station, Rapene Bagombira. So you as a leader, bus station, party, they will listen to whatever you're going to do. If he's talking about mobilizing the party, Max Chong went to southern province and mobilized right in Gary Combo's hometown. That is mobilizing. I don't work from there. I have been to Livingstone. I've mobilized right in southern province. That is mobilizing. And the pictures are there. Numbers don't lie. I have been to Eastern Province. I've mobilized. I have been to the Copper Belt. I brought it to a standstill at some point. That is what we call mobilizing. Not where you sit. It's like, look, it's like the Inspector General of Police say, oh, he has caught for a parade. All the police officers, our gallant men and women in uniform are there. And then he says, all these people, they support PF. That's a lie. That's exactly what these innocent guys are telling us. You can't say, no, I'm mobilizing the party, carrying people that you work with on those bus stations. That's not true. That's not mobilization. Are you fighting Honorable Kelvin Sapa? Why would I fight Honorable Kelvin Sapa? Let me tell you the truth. I do not hate Honorable Kelvin Sapa as an individual or a person. Mm. I've got great respect for him. He's a most successful businessman, well-exposed and traveled person. But what I hate is the leadership qualities in him. Because our party is a grassroots party. Our party's strength is in the grassroots. And the grassroots are many the youths. 
I expected Honorable Kelvin Samba to bring the youth together and not to take side with one particular faction which is now causing confusion and insulting other members of Central Committee. They claimed that I insulted Honorable Kelvin Samba. I would have loved if you would have asked them what an insult is and if at all they can mention one single insult I have ever said. Telling Honorable Kelvin Samba what to do does not mean that I'm insulting him. As the National Youth Chairman, I expected him to be answerable to anything that affects our youth in our party today. And as one of those people that speak without fear or favor, I will tell him when he's going wrong. And lately, he has been going wrong. How do you measure the performance of um, Honorable uh, Kelvin Sampa from the time that he took over from Honorable uh, Kampiongo as uh, chairperson in charge of the youth? Is there any performance? Well, innocent there... yesterday said uh, the man has performed. All those that are Is... calling him all sorts of names have been paid. Is there any performance? They said he uh, has performed. Yes, of course, if you are going to tell me that Innocent said he has performed, I will tell you that yes, he has performed exceptionally well in terms of spearheading confusion. According to you? According to me. What about in the party? I am not With the youth? Has he performed? Look, before Honorable Stephen Campiongo relinquished his position as National Youth Chairman, we saw the program that was going around in all the provinces. From the time Honorable Kelvin Samba took over, we heard of him mentioning goats. They are goats that we are taking to Chong. We don't know. He has not gone back to tell us what has happened with those goats. We heard of him telling us about liquid fertilizer. We are in the next farming season. We have not seen it. We heard of him telling us about shaving machines. We don't even know if they are functional or not. He has failed to unite the youth. There is confusion because he has failed to reconcile the youth. He has failed to bring them together. He has changed his executives twice. A clear indication that surely there is something wrong in our party today. The party has got, mm. the party has got different types of youth. We have got graduates from high institutions of learning. We have got uh, youths from bus stations, youths from markets, youths from, um, uh, let me say, Jerabos, you know, different areas. You can't just come and tell them, are you going to give goats to people that are coming from the University of Zambia? They were at the University of Zambia for seven years to come and venture into goats. I'm not saying that is a bad idea. We've got rural districts. You could have said, look, this program is specifically meant for rural districts. What are we doing in terms of employment opportunities? How am I following up on, on those uh, presidential in initiatives that are meant to improve the welfare of the young people in our country? That nothing has been done. Do we have any database at the Secretariat to show us the statistics or the numbers of youths that we have pushed into employment, formal employment, of youths that we have assisted with business opportunities? We don't have. So what did you want me to read? When you look at the party PF, it's just as big as ANC of South Africa and ZANU PF of Zimbabwe. Go and look at the structures of their youth leagues and see how powerful they are. Their presidents will just come from the last minute, even their leaders, to come and campaign because they will do everything before they even come because they are well structured, structured and financed or funded. This is a special interview today, when, tonight, Wednesday, and uh, my guest is Max Chongo, who is responding to allegations that were leveled against Max Chongo, as well as uh, the Honorable Minister in charge of Home Affairs, Stephen Campiongo, and um, we've given time and chance to Max to respond to those allegations. And uh, let's also listen to what Innocent Kalimanshi and Nathan Puri had to say concerning Mark Strong and other leaders in the Patriotic Front, including the Honorable Minister in charge of Home Affairs. My money in politics. Quite a lot joining. I truly have to go to the end. I join politics. I have an interest. Quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money. Half my money, Papa Gomboni. Very tall woman, a good school, I'm going to go government 
tulandire kwa abantu mwamuna tabiro yo kunji kundara mara abantu yo kumuntu mwamuna so abafula abafula mpati like abaishi pachiro cha babosi basata bali tushupa kuti ashira kukongendara Chawali nda tunovu wa sambana hapa filo, wali wikuti wa hufu. Wali wala wa corruption. Wala wa kuya mkushita. Wali wa sambana hapa filo. Wali wa Just to chip in. Wa sampa. Wakwa nisa kuita na both mayutu, all the sides, kukala pa mozi. Na ma meeting, we've had meetings. Saidi ina ikuti watipange pa mozi. The only problem, ya ina kamba pa first. Muzi wa problem ni, you know, you don't undermine leadership. Mwani nizi vila ino. He, na muzi wa angkala lida nizo na background yake nisangane background kwa nana chokera nifunika kuyanga na leadership ya mena hodinga accepting <coughs> the leadership nishipalasi na chongo chisira for example wa mm. president watu wa ediga chagwalungu wanachoka kuchawama si mwame mm. wa president watu wa ediga lungu wanachoka kuchawama waja wanto wana maita andamaini wa ediga lungu wana picture jaku dala they don't accept that Edgar Lungu is the Republican president, is the president of those people who voted for him, is the president of those people who don't vote. In short, he is the Republican president. By the time, Yamina Uzaka ita accept leadership. The only problem is that they don't accept. For me, personally, Innocent Karimanchi is the mobilizer and the influence. So, we cannot take that thing away from him. It's a gift. Mona. So, those people who are fighting us, I normally use the word we, who are fighting us. Uh, I quoted what the president said in, in Sanfia, I think where there was a by-election. He said, wakamburi wanapanga chipani, wamtati wanapanga chipani. Wa ma political parties in Yambi, why in a Nibe Manta? Okay, I want to Pangachipan. Those are some of the allegations or revelations that were brought to the floor by uh, Innocent Karimash and Nathan. Moving on, Max, uh, recently there is a video that has gone viral on social media. You showing your riches. Let me respond to that first, then we'll come to the video. You, you, you want to respond yes, to that? Yes, I want to respond to that. Please go ahead. Number one, he talked about people that joined the Patriotic Front Party because maybe they were poor or they did not have a job, so they are looking for a job. I joined the Patriotic Front Party in 2006. Of course, when the late president was forming the Patriotic Front Party, I was a young kid at some point. But I was the neighbor in Omero Mumba Road, and I was the first young person to invite him at National Institute of Public Administration to come and address us. At that time, I was there. When I joined the PF Party in 2006, I became very active after Big Brother show in 2007. And if you go to Kafue, I'm um, amongst those that were the first members of the party in Kafue. And I would drive to Kafue with my vehicle to attend meetings and bring minutes to the president. So you are in poor, 2009, you that should explain to you. Because mm. by then, I was driving to Kafue. That's for the five kilometers back and forth. Okay? In 2009, I had three nightclubs. Big Brother 1. Avondale Complex, Big Brother 2, somewhere here in Garden, opposite um, where there's the Frio now for Francis. Big Brother 3, as you are going to Kalimba Farms, Chris Moore. Three nightclubs, two boutiques, that is in 2009, one in Chelston, one right opposite Lumumba bus station upstairs. So when I went in PF, I was solid. I have been a businessman away from politics and a family man, okay? So when I went in PF, I was solid. I actually lost all these things when I was campaigning because I was using my personal... So you're not among the people that joined up, uh, the PF? Of course because... not. If I was, I would have even followed him when he ran to, to UPND. I would have joined UPND as well if I followed him, if I wanted money. I stayed here. Now, he talked about loyalty. There was a time he said they never gave him a letter of expulsion, but he had it on radio, and before they could react, he decided to leave because they came to attack him from his house. I was attacked, not once, twice or three times. In PF, I never left. I was locked up in prison in Petauk. I never left. 
I still continued to work hard and harder for the party PF and President Edgar Chagalung, and my stance has never changed, not even a single bit. That is loyalty. You don't leave the party. You go and support an opposition party to the extent you cause confusion, wanting to, to the, the party PF to be out of power, and the same president that, he, that is ruling today, you wanted him out of power, calling him names, and now that you failed your mission, you come back and you want to be more loyal to the party and the president than us who remain. This has reminded me what um, Julius Malema said in South Africa. Mama, you didn't tell us how to handle them. They are here. They are even crying louder, more louder than us, who loved you genuinely. That's exactly what they Max, did. you've talked about loyalty, and uh, you said your loyalty is with the president, and you've um, also explained uh, the difficulties that you've gone through and you've remained in the party. And I'm finding it very difficult to say you are loyal to the president, but you are disrespecting the people that have been appointed by the president. Where is your loyalty? If you can disrespect Honorable Kelvin Sam, who has been appointed by the president and the MCC. How did I disrespect Honorable Kelvin Sam? You are undermining his leadership. How did I undermine his You are leadership? saying he hasn't achieved anything, but he's the first national youth chairperson to denounce violence. Let me tell you this. Denouncing violence during broad daylight and whilst in the night you are the one championing it. That is not an accident. Are you saying Honorable Kelvin Sampa is embracing violence in the night? If Honorable Kelvin Sampa is authorizing these guys to do what they are doing, is that not embracing it? You can't pretend to be a journalist during the day. In the night you are a thief and you want me to support you and tell you that no, you are a very successful journalist. No, I want to do it. So you are not undermining... Uh... I am not undermining it. I am not undermining him. If there is someone who is undermining leaders that are appointed by the president, it's his group that is supporting. His group has insulted the party leadership. His group has insulted even Honorable Stephen Campion. Open. Has he said any word? He has not. So who's undermining who here? The president has told us to say, look, go out there and show love. Him being a national youth chairman, it doesn't mean that he just has to take care of youths from the party. We must give hope to the youths in the country so that they come in large numbers and believe in our party again. But if you are going to give hope to a specific group like that, which is specialized in insults or threatening people, that is not what I feel that President Lungu believes in. How do you feel? Because you've mentioned that um, the people that went to receive Innocent at the airport, at one point, they ran away from him. He was alone. Then you embraced him, and you've told us uh, the meetings that you, you had with um, the Honorable Minister so that he can be helped. And also you facilitated for that reconciliation between him and um, Kaiser Zulu. How do you feel now that the man that you've helped is now standing on an anthill and insulting you and uh, bringing your name into disrepute. Look, he can stand on an anthill or in Mount Kilimanjaro or even Finde Kwaos to insult or disrespect me. But I did that out of genuine love for a brother who I thought he had changed. Himself at some point he issued a statement to say, I don't even know what that meant. A saga can never tend to, can never tend to be a tent. A saka will always be a saka. Now it has proved to me that what I thought he is now as compared to what he was, it's not much. You know, I tried the best. It's not only innocent Kalimanch that have helped with leaders in terms of bringing them close. There are so many, even others from the Copa Belt, others that are more influential than him. According to you, is innocent a member of a patriotic front? If he says he's a member of the Patriotic Front Party, that must move in line with what the party According demands. to you, is he a member of the Patriotic Front The recent party? behavior that is exhibiting clearly to me does not portray someone who believes in the ideologies of the Patriotic Front Party. Recently, there is a video that has gone viral where you are showing uh, the modern cadres, or modern uh, cadres in, in our modern uh, politics. And people are saying, oh, probably... He has, he has acquired all these wealthy through blackmailing ministers and also having those kickbacks and receiving money to undermine other leaders that have been appointed by the president. How much money can you receive to undermine someone that can make you live such a lifestyle? You can receive it through contracts that you've been awarded. Which contract? Now let me tell you today. 
I have never received any contract or done any business with the Minister of Home Affairs, not even supplying tissue or toothpick. Maybe it's facilitated. Which facilitation? You talked to other ministers to Which award minister? you. I have never. I have never done business with Honorable Stephen Kampiong. Not even calling him to help me do business with any other person. You can go and investigate. You are a journalist. Go and use your skills to find out if I've done any business with Honorable Stephen Kampiong. I've never. I've actually done business with Honorable Kelvin Sam than Honorable Stephen Kampiong. Last evening, uh, Kaliman, she talked about some leaders in PF who are not loyal to the president, who are also undermining the president because they want to be president at one point, and they are mobilizing themselves to go and challenge ECL in Kabwe. Do you believe that there are people who are bearing presidential ambition within the patriotic front, and these are the people that are using people like yourself? What do you mean using people like myself? Because he talked about leaders in PF. No, 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 no. Who want to be president at one point, and they are using people who are lazy. I didn't mention your name. Now, let me tell you something. He talked about uh, the issue here, the center person was Honorable Stephen Kambiong. If you call Honorable Stephen Kambiong's phone now, I think his ringing tone will be a song for President Lungu. I have been with Honorable Stephen Kambiong on several occasions, both in a sober state and maybe after taking some alcoholic beverages. And I've never heard him, not even a single day, saying I want to be a running mate or I want to be a president. But the only things I hear from Honorable Stephen Kampiongo is that we can't let it go. Mm. So we have to support the, the party PF and the president with all what we can. Okay. So now when I see people like uh, my older brother, Innocent Kalimanshi, my other older brother, Nelson Biri, saying, no, mokut, mokut, wakambiongo, mokut, mokut. Surely, even the time Innocent Karimanshi was in UPND in South Africa, when even Mr. Geoffrey Boadiamwamba, with due respect, was in UPND, the names they would talk about Pamaradi was Stephen Kambiongo and Max Wachong. So how now can Honorable Stephen Kambiongo become unloyal to the president? We all know the stories of Shuangandu and the choppers and what not. How come now Honorable Kampiongo should be harboring presidential ambitions? And if you have seen, he's one of those ministers that has been so careful in whatever he does. He has not been found in any grouping where you can link him to any talk. He has been so professional, very mature, and he has exhibited high levels of loyalty to the party and the president. Now, when you see people that left, people that called the president coming back to say, no, I worked for the president in, in, in Kabu. The fact that you worked for the president in Kabu does not mean that you have to hold the party number one and the president at ransom. Are you the saying he's holding the left, president at, at no, ransom? No, no, because in all the statements, there is issues like in Kabu, in Kabu, I, the president will remember me for what I did for him in Kabu. That is being disrespectful. There were a lot of people in Kawe. There were so many people. What is the name? This one, the former uh, thing, uh, MP for Chong. Sylvia Maseo. I have never heard of uh, that is past. What is important is those that stayed with the president, Edgar Chagwalunga, crossed over 2016. Those are the people that are loyal. Recently, you were quoted as saying, I challenge Freedom Scars, the Presidential Affairs Minister, to tell President Eddie Gachagwalungu the truth about who told him to his face that you and your Lungu will not win Bill number 10. If you do, come get 10,000 kwacha. I challenge Chris Zumani Zimba to tell President Eddie Gachagwalungu the truth who told him that you and your president won't succeed in passing Bill number 10. You are quoted saying that. When? When? You said recently. When was I quoted? You were quoted recently. When? What is recent? You are now, quoted. Now, let me tell you how you are supposed to phrase that statement. 
you should say at some point you wrote this. Don't say recent. What is recent? Are you the one who wrote this? Yes, I did. You are the one who did this? Yes, I did. Why didn't you claim to be a die-hard PF member? Why didn't you go straight to the president? But you were busy challenging people. Is this also part of blackmailing? No. Blackmailing how? Why didn't you go directly to the president and say, Mr. President, there is this. And, ah. But you, were, you mentioned look, Freedom Scarswell. Look, look. And you mentioned Chris Zimmer. The presidency is a well-informed institution. Okay, mm. and at some point, when certain things like that are brought out, of course the investigative wings that are supposed to carry out their mandate to validate such claims. So, you've denied that this is not form of blackmailing, and my question still remains: Why but, didn't but how you? How do you define blackmail? Black Why were you mentioning the presidential affairs minister? And also the, 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 the advisor in terms of politics. What if my it? ears were there? <laughs> eh? So, black so if your like, ears were there, why didn't you go direct? That's why I'm telling you that the president is a very big institution which is well informed and the investigative wings that are supposed to do their mandate properly, to carry out their mandate properly. And if such claims are made, they can take it up. How far have you gone with this issue? Am I part of those investigative wings? Oh, you, you brought it out? I brought it out and I left it there. Is it at the same position where you left it or there is something that is being I done? I wouldn't know because I don't work hand in hand with those. Why people. did you bring up this issue? Because what I is it that you wanted to see? Why did you bring Innocent on set yesterday? What is it that you wanted to hear? We wanted to hear the meeting that you had with the Honorable... Campion. Yes, so I wanted them to tell them if I told maybe I was claiming or not. Bill number 10 has failed and the people are saying there are some people that have not voted, that did not vote for Bill number 10 and these are some of the people that are harboring presidential ambitions and they want to destabilize the party and when you go to cover they want to take over from ECL. Your reaction to that? Let me tell you something. President Edgar Changwalungu has got one more term remaining after 2026 okay and the party starting from the lowest organ which is the section to the biggest organ and that is members of central committee they have endorsed president edgar chagalungu as the sole candidate on the pf ticket come 2021 countrywide so those with such ambitions you know yes it's right to dream and people have got, uh, you know, they are, um, we can't stop them from having such ambitions. But as party structures, we have made it clear we will rally behind the candidature of President Edgar Chagwalung. And there are not two ways about it. So if one wants to come there, maybe come with your family, they vote for you. But as party structures from the lowest organ, which is the section, to the biggest organ in the party, which is members of Central Committee, we have endorsed the candidature of President Edgar Chagwalungu for 2021 on the PF ticket, and there is no room for any negotiation. You've talked of Kafue, and uh, recently, I'll use again the word recently, there are some youths in Kafue who have um, written something about you, about Max Chongo, and they are saying they doubt, they have information that you're not part of PF. You're just masquerading as a member, but you're working with the opposition, UPND. And that is why when some people are talking about HH, you come out strong and uh, condemn them because you're not PF. You see, I don't like talking about HH for one thing. The Patriotic Front Party or the Patriotic Front Government under the leadership of President Edgar Chagwadung has done so much. And it's a sheer waste of time talking about someone who has been losing and a person who is going to lose even in 2021. I think the biggest failure on our side as a patriotic front party that we have achieved perfectly fine is failing to give maximum publicity to all this development that we have delivered across the nation. So if I see someone talking about UPND, what is it going to benefit the party? This is the person that we have defeated for so many years. And this is a person we are surely going to defeat. Why are we wasting time talking about someone 
who is an entity to us. Why not use that time and energy to sell or to tell the people of Zambia what we have done? Mm. To explain to the people of Zambia what the PF government under the leadership of President Edgar Galungo has done, is doing, and will do. How many contracts? And then yeah. when you talk about youths in Kafue, yes. you know, bear in mind that Kafue does not, does not have a patriotic fund party member of parliament. You, as a journalist, I expected you to be above board. If you just read something in the newspaper where someone says, no, Marx is not PF, what, what, and then you say, no, recently we had this and this and this, you are a journalist. Even your own dependents at home, if you have one or two, if you go and ask them to say, do you know the name Marx, what do you relate it or associate it to, they will tell you we associate that name to PF. It's a brand of PF on its own, Marx or Chong. How many contracts do you have with government? Which contracts? Which contracts? Yesterday, Innocent mentioned that you are the one who is doing uh, these uh, drainages at Unza. And you said that contract, it is, it is, the com it is uh, uh, Max's uh, uh, contract, uh, Max's uh, uh, contraction company that is doing these uh, drainages. And that's why I've asked you this question. Say, how many contracts do you have with them? Am I Zimbabwean? Tell me. I'm asking you, am I Zimbabwean? Tell me. Or am I an American? Tell me. So if I'm not, it means I'm a Zambian. And if I'm a Zambian, belonging to the Patriotic Fund Party, or patriotic fund government under the leadership of President Edgar Chagwalungu does not disqualify me from participating in any tender that I have what it takes to do. I've asked you a question. How many contracts do you have? That is for me to know and for you to find out. You are a journalist. Do you have uh, contracts with government? I have a contract with AFCON. I have a contract with AFCON which was signed three years ago. And that is under decongesting Lusaka project. Yes, when you go to, 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 to Great East Road, before the, the Monday Hill Bridge, you will see my company there. After the Monday Hill Bridge, you will see the company. At the University of Zambia, you will. When you go to Kalingalinga, you will see my company. When you go to Kablonga Road and the Bishop Road, you will see the company. When you go to Mumba Road, you will see the company. And that contract is with AFCON. Any other question? I'm still, I still have questions. I still have questions. It's good that you've responded that uh, you've got a contract that is running, although you mentioned that you've got a, con a contract with government, but you've mentioned that you've got a contract with uh, AFCON. Uh, and let me make it clear. Mm. When Innocent said, I got that contract from Ministry of Local Government. And the current permanent secretary who's in, who's in Ministry of Local Government does not even know anything about it because the one who was there was Amos Malpenga. And the minister at that time was Vincent Mwali. So when he said he got a contract from Stephen Campiongo, that was a lie. It's understood maybe the man was so excited with the lightning here because I think it was the first Bemba interview that you, you think Movie TV has ever brought to the people of Zambia. We saw uh, some artists being empowered, the 30 million empowerment that the president, uh, the presidential empowerment to the artists, and um, some people from the, the ruling party didn't receive that issue with open hands, uh, looking at the people that have benefited. And they're saying others are not artists, and they're not supposed to benefit from that money. What is your assessment, and what is your, your, your reaction to you that? You see, I always tell the people, mostly the members of our party, our president has proved beyond any reasonable doubt that he is not a president for PF members alone. He is a president for the people of Zambia. And the development that he's taking is not only taking it to the PF strongholds or PF members. He's taking it to the people of Zambia. And he has encouraged us to extend such gestures to the people of Zambia. So when you look at a ministry, a ministry is different from... That's why some of us are saying we are, after, we are, we are up in arms with Kelvin Sam. A ministry has to take care of, let's say if it's youth and sport, it will have to take care of all the youth, regardless of our political affiliations. Mm. When you're talking about the, 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 the monies that were given to artists, those artists were not supposed to be just PF artists, but artists that qualified according to the standard or the benchmark that they put there. Are you saying those are If PF I had artists? a song prior to that day and it was ticking, I would have applied and I would have got it but I am not an artist. You are not an artist. So for those that are saying, no, it was not applied correctly, 
I don't know what, uh, on what basis they are basing their complaints on, on what grounds they are basing their complaints on. But as far as I'm concerned, there was a benchmark that was put there, requirements that were put there, and those that met those requirements, they got what they deserve. And you, you don't have a, a I problem? I have got no issue about it. I'm not a musician. I'm not an artist. Others are saying majority of the people that have been um, given those monies are people that are aligned to the patriotic front or to the PF. And others have even done campaign songs for the PF. And that is the reason why that is more like a way of awarding them. I don't know about that. If they say that that's their opinion and they're entitled to, uh, to their opinion. But I'm not aware about that because I saw a lot of people there that were getting those things. Some of them, it was just recently when they were supporting those protests. Katwishi Kunakovach did a protest area. But they got something there. Others have been writing things on their Instagrams against the patriotic front government. And they got something there. So I don't understand what people are talking about. Now that you've responded as we are running down, and now that you've responded and you've cleared the air on the allegations that um, innocent uh, Kalimashi brought out, um, what is the next step? He is your brother. You... I will not give up on my brother, Innocent Kalimanshi. What I'm going to advise Innocent Kalimanshi is to this. Let him look at the man he calls his father, and that is Mr. Geoffrey Bwadiamwamba, GBM. When he came back, when you go, let me give you this example. Mwanina bus pa intercity apa mulea kukitwe. Yo wafika pa chisamba wa muna kakiro wa thorokamu. Andefo kulanda na kutia analyze na taxi. Panino mtu mbi para pachipuna. Basi ambo kwenda. Waisa na taxi wa ipepe ka basi paka paka waisa nga. Ulefu wa mfunye puru wiki ni pachipuna kiwefu mapu. Ni wana chika la. It doesn't work like that. That person has paid also. So when Innocent Kalimanshi went to UPND, he came back on his position, there is Francis Muchemo. Okay. Innocent Kalimanshi should respect those people and work with them in peace. Just like what Mr. GBM has done, he's quiet. Innocent Kalimanshi is not the only one who came from UPND who went with Mr. GBM. There is Bruce from the Copper Belt. He's quiet, he has respected people. Let him respect the structures. Let him not rush to the top. Time will come and his door will be opened. Let him apologize and make peace to the brothers that he offended, the sisters that he offended, the mothers that he offended, even the president that he claims to love or he so loves dearly. Let him apologize open. And then let him start climbing again the ladders. Max Chongo, it has been a pleasure uh, discussing with you on uh, the special program. Many thanks to you. Thank you. Next time, I'm going to pick up on to mention. <laughs> this has been the special interview on the channel of choice, Movie TV. Many thanks to Mavuto Piri, my director, as well as the producer, Obvious Kapunda, and uh, also Andrew Mansa. Thank you so much, guys. And remember to join us again tomorrow on the special fairness. Uh, we've got a surprise guest for you. My name is Kelvin Dabola Chifoko. Good night.